great day everyone this is dr aj the wife Panor, and let's have a conversation let's talk about college yes we're going to call this college 101 and i want to give you some tips on buying books for college so if you're an incoming freshman or you are um are you already uh in cotton enrolled in college um if you are a senior that's thinking about college next year i want to give you some tips on buying your textbooks your textbooks can be expensive how do i know this because dr aj has three degrees i have three degrees i have one in business one in biology with a minor in chemistry and one in um a doctor in chiropractic so i was in school for 12 years after high school i'm very versed and and, and an expert in about college uh tuition books transferring schools <laughs> um even uh changing majors anything mostly anything that have to do with college i can speak on it and give you a variety of <laughs> options and so college can be stressful just thinking about um how much it's going to cost a loan is stressful and so when you think about your books books are expensive when you, especially when you buy from the bookstore they're expensive and i experienced my first semester as a freshman at kentucky state university way back in uh fall of 1993 i my major was biology pre-med never forget it my books came up to a thousand dollars yes a thousand dollars just on books alone that's on top of tuition because my tuition was seven thousand dollars so you know that's a lot of money for a person that's a lot of money now thank the lord i have wonderful parents and my parents were able to um pay for my college education and um buy my books however with 85 percent of the population that as that is not the case they have to find ways and financial support in order to buy their books and so i want to give you some tips on um on where you can buy books and how much cheaper you can get book, get books all right so the first one is amazon.com now i've listened to a lot of my students especially within the last um several years i've been teaching college for for almost eight years now and so i listen to my students when they talk about saving money with uh books for college and it's helped them uh, tremendously during their school year so they can be less stressed so amazon.com is one good place you'll you'll save um probably a good 50 maybe 50 to 75 dollars on books than you would if you bought it in a bookstore so like me this is what i teach i teach anatomy and physiology so we're using this 10th edition of this anatomy and physiology book and this is costing students at my local college that i teach at it's cost students um about 270 dollars just for that book 270 dollars that's a lot and so I want to make sure that you're well prepared for college and you can save money and cut corners as much as possible to alleviate, this, alleviate the stress and you can be able to be successful in your studies. Now, my first suggestion to you is, if you don't know where to start, have your schedule in hand. Make sure you have your schedule in hand. If you're able to get your schedule, if you are a returning college student, you can have, get your, have your schedule already um, before... Well, fall term will be starting soon and go to the bookstore and price the books that you need and the rep the bookstore representative will help you and you can most people have a camera phone and you can take pictures of the books that you need and then you can price them so that's my first thing if you are um incoming college freshman i would or uh just a a, a college um student and you don't you you don't do that beforehand then i would say to you the first week of class that first day that first two days because classes you know usually in colleges classes run monday monday wednesday friday or they run tuesday and thursday so those first day of class once you get your syllabus and your syllabus will have the outline of what's expected in the class and the books that you need then you go um you go to um 
you see it and price it at the bookstore, and I'm going to tell you more than likely the bookstore is much higher, at least $50 higher than, than other places. And then you go on Amazon and see about their price. And their prices are about $50 to $75 um, dollars cheaper. Now, also, another good place you can go to, you can go to some place called textbooks.com. Textbooks.com. Now, I went on there. They have... Um, they have books that are cheaper. That anatomy book, this anatomy book, I told you it's two hundred and seventy by seventy five thousand seventy five dollars at my bookstore. Well, I found that on um, textbooks.com for about a hundred dollars, a hundred and thirty dollars cheaper. Now, with textbooks.com. You can buy the books and sell and sell your book back. Now let me tell you when I when I tell you about selling your books back, you're going <laughs> don't ever this is the this is a side note. Don't ever college students, don't ever sell your books back to the people that come to the college. You're gonna get maybe one third of that back. So you're gonna spend two hundred and seventy seventy dollars on that textbook, you might get fifty dollars back. Or you I would say between fifty and seventy dollars back. That's not enough. So I say don't sell your books back to the representative at the bookstore. Don't do that. Because what they're going to do is they're going to buy your book, give you about $70, and then they're going to sell it probably online for about $150, $200. So that's a waste. Don't even do that. Now, the next place you can go is called CheaperTextbooks.com. CheaperTextbooks.com. Now, I've been to the website and I've priced the book. This I like this website because you can buy, you can either buy, you can rent or and sell your books back. So for this two hundred and seventy dollar anatomy book, you can rent it for forty eight ninety nine. I think that's awesome. That's another route you can do. You can rent books. And that's a whole lot cheaper than buying them. And so I really like that website. So you guys should look on that website, uh, cheapertextbooks.com. And also you can sell your books back. Now, they people are buying this anatomy book back for $150 on that website. Yeah, I think it was $150 on the website. So that is a wonderful website. Now, if you're not computer savvy and you don't want to do all that, then my suggestion would be go to your student union center at your at, at the college that you're attending um, or wherever the students hang out where they have the food court, the vending machines, um, where they have the ping pong tables, the student support services. Go in there and on the bulletin boards, they have students that uh, sell their textbooks. A lot of students put up flyers to sell their textbooks. And those could be the textbooks that you need. And those are uh, cheaper also. I've seen textbooks, um, students sell textbook at least $100 cheaper um, than with the bookstore. So I'm glad I was able to help you with those tips. So let's review. This is what you're going to do. Get your, get your classes. Go to the bookstore. Take a picture of the books that you need. Price them. Once you do that, you have these choices. Go to Amazon. Uh, go to textbooks.com, cheapesttextbooks.com, or look at your bulletin board at your student union center and see who is um, who's selling the books. My suggestion to you is if you can, rent a book. So you go to cheapesttextbooks.com and rent that book. It's under the it's, It could be under $100 for you to get your books for the semester, and you will save a whole lot of money. In your college career, take a lot of stress off you, so you can be successful and be and be a productive citizen in society. I'm glad Dr. AJ was glad to help you. If you want any more tips and tricks about college, go to work with Dr. AJ at gmail.com. I pray for good fortune in everything that you do and for your good health, that your everyday affairs prospers as well as your soul. Bye bye.